In this video, we are going to see the step-by-step -step installation for Anaconda Navigator. And Anaconda is a distribution of the Python and R programming language for scientific computing that aims to simply package management and deployment. The distribution includes data science, packages suitable for Windows, Linux, and Mac OS also. So in your search command, you can simply write Anaconda installation. And then you can see this link the official site www.anaconda.com you can click here and next you can download it from here and this will redirect you to the which graphic you want to install for 64-bit graphic or 32-bit installer you I am showing it for Windows you can do it for your other operating systems such as Mac OS or Linux also so here I am taking this installer and it is downloading now and it will take some time here you can see that the download is completed and next we have to run this particular application so you can see that the setup is installing and here you can see you have to press next in the license agreement you have to press I agree you can select the installation type I'm selecting it for just me and then we have to select a path for installation so now here i have given the path of the folder next now you can see the advanced option also you can add anaconda 3 to the path variable which you can do later on also if you do that then this is not recommended because in this the other software will get previously installed set up the path of python only and you have to reinstall again and then install so it is recommended that you register anaconda as default python and then you have to simply click on install as the installation is complete you have to search here you can see here it is anaconda prompt also and there is anaconda navigator also so first i will let you know what navigator actually is and let me open the prompt also so this is the anaconda prompt and right now we have only a base file that is and you can create any other directory also with the name and with the latest python version so this is the use of anaconda that you can run several other versions of python also in a particular system so that we will do later on firstly we will see that how anaconda navigator works so this is how the anaconda navigator gets open and you can see here there are several notebooks that is cmd jupyter lab jupyter notebook PyCharm, Qt Console, Spider, all other platforms in which you can run several Python scopes. So it imports all the packages for scientific computing and other data analytics also. Here you can see in environments. Right now we have only one environment base root. And if you want to create any environment, you can click here on the create. You can write the name of the environment and you can select here that which python version you want there is 3.8 3.7 3.6 3.5 and 2.7 also so you can create an environment from here also and you can create an environment from here anaconda prompt navigator also so for here you have to simply write firstly let's check that how many environment are there so you have to simply write this command conda list So here you can see that this shows all the list which are there in this particular setup and the list of the documents which are included. Next, if you want to create a particular new environment, that how can you do that? You have to simply write conda create for naming and you can give the name. For example, I'm giving the name as test. And if you do not mention any version of Python, then by default it will select a version by itself only or else you can write Python and then give the version whichever you want to give. For example, I am giving the version 2.7. So it will create a version like that. Or else if you don't want to give a version, you just simply execute this particular command. Now if you want to activate in this environment, so what you have to do is activate test so now you can see the directory has been changed now the environment is changed here now you're working on the 
test environment here also you can see that in environment there is a new environment test created and the in and the initial environment was simply the root environment next if you want to install any particular package then you can write the simple command pip install and the name of package so here you can see that requirement already satisfied that means numpy is already there in the lib library of the site packages so this is how we can install any particular package with the help of anaconda prompt next you can see here there is learn now here also there are several tutorials which can be read python tutorial python references anaconda packages pandas numpy documentation scipy matplotlib all documentation are there so that you can read it from here also in the community if you have any query while writing or solving any kind of problem then you can search from the community and learn according to your need and solve your problem as it is open source, so it is easily available to the community, you can solve your problem. So this is all about Anaconda Navigator and installation of Anaconda. Next we will know about the Jupyter Notebook.